Millions of years ago, Madagascar separated from other continents and evolved separately. Today it has about 12,000 plants, most of which can be found nowhere else in the world. Many of these plants have medicinal properties and are used by many Malagasies. In the town of Tolier, most people rely on herbs as the nearest hospital is far away. Traditional healers like Dimbi Raza combine plants and a little bit of magic to cure patients. The forest helps us to cure all illnesses, so we need to preserve the forest everywhere in the world, not just in Madagascar, in the world, because the forest is nature. It's our second god. There's god up there, and the forest is our second god. This plant is used for women who have just given birth. You boil it up and then drink it. It helps against hemorrhage, and the woman who drinks this plant, the plant gives a lot of milk, then the baby will have no problems. Tolea's forest is like a huge natural pharmacy, and if people can't visit healers like Dimbiraza, then they can buy whatever they need right on the street. The most expensive is 10 US cents, and most prices are 5 cents. But the people like to negotiate the price down even further. Though people here use herbal medicine for their everyday ailments, some plants are also used to manage terminal illnesses. This is the Madagascar periwinkle, which only used to grow here, but is now being used to manage childhood leukemia in the West. It's also being commercially grown all over the world. Local Malagasy companies like Homeo Pharma manufacture plant products for sale in downtown Antananarivo and even export to Europe and the United States. The company has about 400 employees. We have some very popular remedies. For example, there are some that help the digestive tubes, liver, stomach, intestines. The same medicine is also a natural anti-inflammatory and helps prevent cancer. So even if you're not sick, you can take it. Une progression de 30-40% sur le marché. Donc c'est assez conséquent. There's growth of about 30 to 40 percent in the market, so it's fairly significant, quite enormous. We still have not discovered everything. We know that there are about 12,000 species, but Madagascar is a country that is both mysterious in the respect that it still guards the secrets of its traditional healers. However, some of Madagascar's plant secrets may be lost before they can be discovered in places like Tolear, as forests are being cut down for charcoal and farming. It is fire which is the most dangerous for the medicinal plants, for all of Madagascar's biodiversity, because as a conflict of uses. For most Malagasy, about 85%, these are people who live from livestock and agriculture. They need land, and the most fertile land is in the forest. So they cut, they burn. Every two or three years, or four years, they move bit by bit, destroying the forests. Madagascar's government has already initiated several conservation projects across the country and wants to do more to preserve its natural beauty and the plants that contribute to both modern and traditional medicine. <laughs>